Hey y'all, so I just want to come on and encourage somebody today. Go and read Romans chapter 12. When I tell you it was a great reminder, God was just reminding us on how we're supposed to love our enemies. If they're hungry, we're supposed to feed them. We're supposed to bless those who curse us. And we have to be really, really careful, especially with videos and even at church, because people will pray prayers to reverse these curses. And that is not of God. That's witchcraft. That's a witchcraft prayer. God said we should bless those who curse us. We, we, are, we are not to take anything in our hands. We're supposed to give it over to him. And he said, vengeance is mine. And I, I tell you, I'm 30 years old. And in these 30 years, I kid you not. When God said vengeance is mine, every single time, God really means that I've seen it over and over again in my life. If you know, and it's so hard, you if you have a pure heart and people can uh, assassinate your character, they can lie on you. I mean, all these type of things. Give it over to God. Don't go back and forth. Don't repay evil with evil. No. Okay. I'll give it to my father. He'll handle it. Don't try to go, oh, no, neither. No, give it over to God. Go to sleep, rest. <laughs> give it to your father. And when I tell you, you will have peace, joy, happiness. Give it over to him. Give it to him. Don't spend another moment trying to explain yourself. Don't spend an another moment trying to persuade. God knows your heart. And he said, vengeance is mine. Give it to him. Trust in him. Continue to be loved. And don't let this world, my mama always tell me this, do not let this world change who you are. Don't let this world change who you are. We got to understand we're dealing with people who have demonic spirits in them. And I don't care what area you're in. You can be in a church and dealing with people who got demonic spirits in them. They could go on through a deliverance. And the Bible says these demons come back seven times stronger. So these people manipulate, lie, and everything else. But guess what? Give it over to God. Let God handle it. Don't never change who you are. Continue to be pure-hearted. Continue to keep a right motive. And let God handle the rest. So I pray y'all have a great weekend. And I hope to be seeing y'all soon.